Hey everyone, I'm McGuire and welcome back to Plant and Grow. Um, obviously you can see I'm pulling a plant. Uh, I'm just going to get right into it. This video is going to be about my full tour of all of my philodendrons. So I think I have like maybe 10 to 15. So again, it's not going to be a super long video, but I hope you guys can enjoy. It's been raining here. So if it's raining where you are or Whatever, just sit back, enjoy. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. So let's get right into it. So here we go. First one we have is a Philodendron Florida Beauty. You can see all these leaves. They get this yellow variegation, which I'm kind of a fan of. I just put this on a pole actually a little bit ago. You can see on the stem, it's got super good variegation. So I have high hopes for this guy. And especially with, this is the newest, this is the second newest leaf and this is the newest. So. I know there's variegation in this plant. It's pretty prominent. It's a very easy growing plant. Um, I've been propagating them for a long time. They propagate super easy, very well, and uh, they're very hardy plants and they like to grow. They like to grow up poles for sure. So that's the Florida Beauty. I actually have another one right here, which I've propagated and I'm selling, so. But the second one that we're gonna get to is this Philodendron Billeti, which I also have propagated. And as you can see, I have a growth point right here. I cut this guy right here, um, trying to make my money back on him. But this is another one that you can have this, honestly, you can have them climb, you can have a, you can have them crawl. They honestly do whatever they want, but I usually keep a green like string around them or wire because they like to crawl out. <laughs> They're not very uppity goers. They like to crawl out, which I don't mind. Honestly, someday if I had a greenhouse, I'd like to put it up and make like a cool chandelier out of it. I think this is a cool idea, but we'll see when that happens. <laughs> so the next one that I have is actually like one of my newest plants. It's a Philodendron Majestic. It's a hybrid between a Soderoy and a Varicosum. But the backs, as you can see, they got like reddish backs, obviously because Varicosums have that. But they have these new leaves are so like silvery, fluffy. I don't, they're kind of like pillowy, I guess. They're pillowy. But it's a beautiful plant. I've been wanting it for a while. When they get big, they get these beautiful heart leaf leaves. Ugh, I love them. Okay, let's go on to the next one. So right here we have a philodendron strawberry shake. Super, super beautiful plant. I've been having some problems with it going all green, which I've heard is pretty common with this plant. Uh, I, I know you shouldn't do this, but I think this pink, this leaf is actually like all pink, so. I don't know. Again, it does what it wants. The more light you give it, the more pink you, you can get off your leaf, as you can see there. But it's a pretty easy plant. Um, this is the newest leaf. It got really big really quick, which I love. It's growing up a pole now. But they're expensive. Um, never tried propagating it, so I actually don't know how these propagate. I'm kind of scared to do it because I know the value of this and I don't want to mess it up. So. I'm just gonna leave it as is. Uh, hopefully it doesn't go all green or all yellow or pink, whatever. But if it does, I'll propagate it and I'll show you guys and I'll, uh, I'll put that on a video to help you guys out. So the next one we have is this beautiful philodendron heart leaf or heteraceum. Super, super cool thing. I, for some reason I like this one right here. I don't know why, but it reminds me of like a milkshake, like an Oreo milkshake, I don't know why. But it's kind of cool. These two right here have given me half moons lately, and I really like that. But I think that this next one is going to come out, and it'll be like one of these. It'll be all variegated mostly. But it's a super easy plant. Um, I'm having to grow up this. As you can see, like some of these old leaves back here, they were small. But if you guys watch my other videos, if you put them up a pole, they start to climb and they get big. I didn't have it up a pole when it was back on these, but. Again, these leaves will get huge, and I'm gonna probably extend this pole once they do get big. But the next one that we have is this huge Florida ghost. I love it. I actually broke a leaf off of it this morning. It was over here, and I was being dumb, and I broke a leaf off, but oh well. It's a beautiful plant, and they come out like, oh. yeah, here's the nose. They come out this like, white minty color and then fade to more green minty whatever i actually have a new growth on here and i don't know why because i haven't cut this <laughs> i don't know if you can see that right there i haven't cut this plant so i don't know why it's doing that next one that we have 
is the variegated burrow marks. This is, I don't, this is a weird plant. Again, I love it, don't get me wrong. It's a beautiful plant, but it's weird. Cause like, it's not like an ordinary like philodendron where it crawls up, like it doesn't go up. It like bushes out like, like there's a, shoot. There's a growth like right here. That's a growth. I have a growth right here. They don't keep coming out. It's more like a bush, which I mean, I don't mind. The variegation on it is beautiful. Like, I like this one, I like half moons. And it reminds me of like, I don't know, like the planet, I don't know what it is, but they're beautiful and super easy. If you wanna learn how to propagate, start with these because they do give you so much growth that like you can become a propagating genius with these things. Next one, well, <laughs> kind of, <laughs> is this. It's, it is a ring of fire. It's a very good ring of fire, but I had it, it was growing like this tall and there was no variegation on it. So I cut it back. I have one growth point. Again, I don't know if it's variegated. Um, this leaf has a little bit on there. So I cut back to at least my closest leaf I could get to variegation. So we'll see how this does. I have high hopes for it because I know that it did use to push out variegation and the mother plant was very variegated, but I'll keep you guys updated on this. It's not doing much, so I don't really want to show you it. Next one is this little guy. Oh, I guess the leaf is broke on that, which I don't even know. That's fun. I'm guessing we will all have this. But this is a philodendron silver sword. Not a fan. Probably going to throw this away or sell it. So if you want it, comment down in the comments if you want it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. They're not bad. For me, it's never done well. It always drops leaves like this. I don't even touch them and these leaves just break off. My humidity is perfect in here. I have no, every other plant that I have grows beautiful besides this. I don't know what it is. The leaves are nice. They look like this like bluish like silver, which I love actually, but maybe I'll get a different one at some point. Maybe it's just this plant, which I got no reason why, but maybe it is. So the next one that I love is, well, actually I'll save it for the end. So the next, well, I'll give you two. The next two that I have are beautiful. These guys, this is a variegated white princess, philodendron white princess, pushing out a new leaf there. Half moon, that one, well, kind of a half moon, but this one's not very variegated in the new leaf. I don't think it's going to be either, but oh well, it's still young. And then this is a white wizard, which actually is putting out a very beautiful leaf in there. I don't know if you can see that, but I think it's a half moon. These have thrown out decent, decent variegated leaves, which I'm pretty happy about. There's one full white one, I don't know, all the way down in there, but it's doing good. And then the last one that I have, so this is a variegated billy tie. Threw out two half moons on me, full white. There's another half moon underneath that full white. But the new leaf didn't come out variegated. It's pushing out another new leaf down there. But we'll see what happens. I know it. it's a, it's a tissue culture plant and you want high variegation on tissue culture plants. So I have high hopes for it. I think, honestly, I think that it'll be fine. Um, the bigger it gets, I think the more variegation it'll get, but we'll see what happens. I have high hopes. I'm just going to keep letting it grow. I'm not going to chop this thing up anytime sooner because I don't really want to mess it up for the price of these things. So <laughs> I'd rather not even try that, but we'll see what happens. This is definitely a plan. I'll keep you guys updated. If you guys don't follow my Instagram, it is plant and grow on there as well. So if you guys want to follow the journey on this guy, go follow on there, but so that was basically my whole philodendron collection. I don't have a ton of ton of philodendrons, but I also don't have a lot of plants because I don't want my house to feel like it's a job to have plants. I just want it to be more of like an intimate thing that I have with just this room out here. I mean, I have a couple of house plants in there, which I'll show you guys at some point when I do a full house plant uh, tour, which is coming up. So stay tuned, turn on those post notifications so you know when that comes out. But yeah, that's my full tour, guys. I hope you enjoy. Comment down below which one is your favorite. I have a favorite, and uh, I'll let you guys know if you pick the right one. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos in the future. Bye.